Uh, we're actually in the middle of combat, if I remember correctly, yeah. and you just downed their outer skeleton forms, sort of their outer armored forms, and you see ghosty forms. And it is Brasara's turn. Oh boy. Is it? Yep, it's the turn. numbers don't look right, but okay. This is the turn I'm looking at. It's the same turn order we had last time. Yep. 22, 6, 16 doesn't seem like the right turn order, but okay. Oh, it's just not sorted. Yeah. Well, fine, very well. I uh, don't see anything, but that's probably because I don't have a token. Okay. Oh. Um, use okay. use the, the wizard. Or, like, you know, throw the wizard down here and assign him to, um, to the wizard like everybody else. I'll make you a guardsman. How about that? I'll make you a guardsman and I can come down here. <laughs> Good enough. But how did they get past all the traps? The He's trap the idiot guardsman, and they're lucky that way. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys disabled all the traps. Or there's just 500 guardsmen bodies before him. If you remember, you disabled the, the, um, the traps with that eye moving it. Oh. Yeah... Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, I'm Where's super glad now sheets? that I have my Psycho Reaper staff. This ghost will stand no chance against it. Oh, they're all put in the journal tab now, huh? Weird. And they go. Oh, I'm editing the character now. Give me a second. Why is it being... Hey, at least I get all my fate points back, finally. I wonder if my normal type bolter will have no effect on this ghost type enemy. Okay, and then let me give the guardsman some vision, because I don't think he has any vision. Vision. You see it, dude? Oh, oh. I see guards. Man, I'm small compared to those things. No, those are statues. Uh, they're <sighs> trap statues, but they're statues. Uh, they've disabled them. In this area, there was traps that could it literally insta-kill players. Fun times. <laughs> I wasn't like... like <clears throat> immediate, like, oh, you're trapped, you're dead. It's more like, hey, a beam beamed down and trapped you in this vortex thing, and now they're turning into death lasers. So, they had just enough time to save Moth's character. They almost party wiped. Oh my. Several times. Well, because they touched the statue, and the statue froze the first one, and then yeah, uh, Dan went to pull him off, and, and he, he got stuck to him. Yep. And then Yelmug was gonna go grab his go grab Dan's sword. Which it then also made him blew stuck. Off his hand. Yeah, we we tried to separate me them. from Wait. Oh Did yeah. You fire a gun with no hands again? Oh He's that's not. right. He's not. You were using your melee, weren't you? Yep. Oh yeah, my uh lightning claw. That's what I was doing. And uh uh, was it uh, Dan lost an arm? The first trap, or uh, first puzzle of the game, lost an arm. My bad. Yeah, just just annihilated. I have no arm. That was the save. He got to keep the rest of his body. Yeah. Right, because it well, it's still the save. Still could he still could end up dead? Because if it hit his head or his torso, he's dead. But luckily, it was an arm. Yeah, but to separate from the statue, because my hands were stuck, I came up with the genius idea to uh, 
blow them off with the crack grenade and all did was just destroy my hands and make it worse. Yeah. It's a very nice visual. Like, just a stony uh, pillar right where his hands were in all directions. Like, yes! Yeah, and a good, uh, good marbling of blood and bone in that after I blew my hands up. You know what the worst thing was? What? After we turned the trap off, all the stone returned to normal, so his hands would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And I'm gonna assume you guys are kinda... this direction. Yeah. Yep. yep. They're in combat, so... Um... Boko, if you want to give... <sighs> Excuse me. If you want yes, to give we're... dude shared vision of my character, you can. No, he's a guard. He's literally a guardsman. In fact, I'm oh. going to give you a squad of guardsmen so you oh. don't uh, end up dying. Hey, they have energy weapons. That might be helpful. Is dude going to be the uh, sergeant and control the squad of guardsmen? Yeah, the so you, you uh, dude, there's an elite group of scout guardsmen um, that scouted out this position beforehand. You have about 20 individuals. Oh my. So, whoop. But you're gonna come up with a team of five. Yeah. <clears throat> and reason being you're coming in is because they want radio silent. So you want to go investigate. Gotcha. So. Yeah, I actually haven't heard from them in quite some time. Like a couple hours, actually. And that, that mothership's almost on you guys. You guys suffered from time violation. Mm. No, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess I've got to move, move with the uh, fight, then. Yeah, I'll add you to the turn tracker as well. Let's see. And that's the guardsman sheet. Uh, mercenary guardsman is what you got. Uh, I just used that. That's one we had for a long while. So they should have <laughs> basic stuff. I'm going to add a couple of abilities. Go for it. <clears throat> to make it easier for me with this. Yep, they should all have uh, LAS rifles. And they're modified LAS rifles. Which allows them to injure the... Oh, you don't know about the, the main threat of, of yeah. this guy. You should tell them, guys. So, new alien species. Uh, first off, we did a time jump to our new mission. So, we're like, what, 100, 200 years in the future? 100, yeah, 100 years. Not, yeah, it was a specifically 90 years, but... There you not. go. 90 years in the future, uh, we hop in, we get to the spot. We thought we were going to go after a rogue trader. It's still kind of our mission. Uh, or rather, a chaos marine who took over a rogue trader's ship. Uh, he's we a renegade. We he's got not... to the future. Uh, he would still be chaos to you, but he's just a renegade. Yeah. Heretic Space Marine, which is essentially sure. a Chaos Space Marine anyway, in my opinion. Sure. Yeah. He just might not be... He's Xenos Corrupted as opposed to Chaos Corrupted. Right. There's uh, no difference, in my opinion. We got to the system uh, and found that it was taken over completely by a new Xenos threat that the Imperium hasn't discovered before. So not your standard Eldar or Tau or Necrons or anything like that. It's a new species unto itself. Uh, highly advanced, more advanced than Imperium. It took over the sector. And we are basically doing guerrilla tactics to uh, strike at key facilities. We found this place, investigated it. It's another alien ruin. I don't think it's the same type of alien ruin as the aliens were fighting. But it's uh, something different. We're exploring it. Died a lot, or tried to die anyway. Uh, and now we're fighting uh, an incorporeal being that just shed its armor. Or just shed its body. Gotcha. And that's where we're at. Oh, awesome. Normal lasers don't affect them. Uh, the other aliens, they uh, 
they're just immune to it. So we have to use specially modified laser weapons uh, to do anything. Yep. So, so bolters I, are unaffected. I should say they're immune to all weapons except the modified lasers. Yeah. Yep. Also, my soulbound gauntlets that affects them too. Yep. Or it should anyway. Because it yeah, we have we haven't tested that. They we haven't tested that. it, and I don't want to. Yeah, their shields <laughs> kind of. If you touch their shields, you just disintegrate and die, and that's it, and you're done. Goodbye. Ah, so, so the shield. Base, their base shielding. That you can't. You can't even see it, so it's invisible to the eye. Mm. It instantly vaporizes you. Is it the shield proximity to them? Like, it's not like five meter shield around them. No, it's, it's a base. Thing. It's a base shield. No, 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 like base, base shield. Oh, base. Fun. Yeah, Giant like force that. field. Got that. Gotcha. Yeah, not their personal shields. We never melee their personal shields. I have a feeling there's going to yeah, be have. a similar. I, I I know. Have tried. Yeah, it bounced off. It bounced. Oh. I also tried walking into one, and I had to do a. Uh... That was the base shielding. Yeah. Agility check to make sure you don't kill yourself. Yep. <laughs> He's like, oh god, something's like happening. It's like walking into that zapping light. <laughs> or but, yeah, light. I, yeah, bug <laughs> light. Like a edge of it, melted part of his armor, and hit himself on fire. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Well. All right, I got the general idea now. Yeah, right. our slash uh, that happened. You got a two? Okay. <sighs> you are dead last, good sir. Um, I was, I was not expecting any higher. <laughs> <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst initiative you could possibly get. <clears throat> That's great. I like that. Alright. Well, I have the guardsman now. Yep, Virlo, go. <laughs> um, I'm going to attack this fucker right here with my lightning claw. Hey. Do my two hit roll. Modifier on two hit. Hmm. Anything? Any modifier? No, no. no alright. No what? It's a massive target. What do you mean? Oh by my it? god. Swing and yeah. a miss. Uh, so, a, room. a plus 20 at least. Uh, when you are outnumbering the rest of a plus 10. If he still miss. Yep. Uh, what else? Do you have any bonuses to melee combat? No, I'm a sniper, Dude. so all my shit is ranged. Built for range. What's this, the name of what was it? Uh, Hunter of Aliens? Do you have Hunter of Aliens? Talent? Uh, hatred of Aliens. Oh, yeah, Hunter of Aliens, not Hatred. Hunter. I do not have that talent. Alright. Oh, I am sharing my hatred with you guys, so you do get another plus 10 from that. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have made a that's difference. That's a plus 40, so he still fails by point two. Point two, yep. But hey. it's good to know. Bizarre, go. Okay. What? How do I do combat again? I know, right? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. You press buttons until something good happens. Ah, yeah. Oh, right. I uh, I had a duck over here last turn and reload. That's what yep. I was doing. And dude, if you're asking what those uh, green lines are, that's the safety zones that the group has discovered to avoid traps when they're active. Mm. Funnily enough, our two characters right now, Rick Ladies and uh, Rick and Teal, are not in a safe zone. <laughs> well, the eye is in the direction where it disables traps. Yeah. So to explain this puzzle due to you, see that blue line on that monster in the center of that room? Or do you not see that yet? No. Okay. Well, there's a monster in the center of a room that has an eye that rotates. Mm. And they, they found out they can use rocks to move the eye in a certain direction. And whatever direction it's looking at, it disables those traps and enables traps. Gotcha. <clears throat> but if the eye looks in your direction, it enables that trap, the door, the main door. So they figure it out if they move the eye, it disables everything in that direction. All right, go ahead, do your thing, Brasora.
Sorry, I'm trying to remember how fast I can actually move. Yeah. Wait, are we the... Is there only one giant horrible thing? There's two. Two. Two oh, okay. things. Oh, man, I do not move far. I get in range of it. Currently engaged in, I think, melee range with Karnoff. Uh, the one on the bottom is engaged in melee with me, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get uh, injured? I see him. I can do anything. Yeah, we yes. see a 13 on your character, Karnoff. Are you already injured? I am injured, yes. Okay. You can take a hit, I think. Uh, so, yes, I when my arm got blown off, we like kind of rolled for the critical oh, yeah, hit yeah. thing, and I just kind of filled out the wounds and critical damage and all that. Uh, but I uh, last session I used the solo mode ability, which lets me heal once per session. All right, Moth, do your thing. Oh boy, uh, that's luckily, a lot. We're in a new session, so you can do it again. Yep. Yes, I can. Oh man, I forget what was that thing with the Meltas in close range. Uh, the shotgun is a close range for every two degrees of success. You get one extra hit. I think was it. Uh, it's in Death Watch channel. I think. Uh, let me check. Yeah, this one. Well, that's a lot of hits then. Well, would you have like what your max fire rate plus, yeah, plus that. But it needs to be within like the close range proximity, which is like what half of within half range yep, was it? Fifteen meters or, or quarter range, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting the damage on this guy. So that's four plus additional three because you have six more. Uh, it's only got four shots. But the damages are, it's just like kind of the damage from the scatter. It's not extra shots, it's just extra damage. Oh, well, in that case. Minus 18. You just see it, you hear basically a loud ethereal roar as you're shooting at the back of this thing. <clears throat> Did the holes I shot in it stay? It's a, it's a very ethereal being. You don't see any visible damage, but it did roar as you were shooting it. Alrighty then. I hope that did something. And then I uh, zip back up. Karnoff, go. All right, time to hit it thrice. Um, and it's yeah. this. Um, 30 once, twice, and thrice. 
<laughs> oh wait, no, it needs to be plus fifty. So that my last one should be two point one because it's a massive target. Um, Dang, you got crit success on one of those. Yep. Um. No bonus, no nothing. Yes, as he knows, uh, it has what eighteen armor right now, right? In total. Oh, Broken. it's armor. Uh, yeah. it has no armor. Zero right. armor. Okay. Yeah, zero armor. And and no toughness. Uh no, no toughness. Okay. It's just straight being. That's a lot of HP then. <sighs> mm hmm. Minus 39, you did? Uh, yep. On one hit. And, yep. Minus 36. And minus 42. Okay, and as you do that last bit of damage, go ahead and do, what is it, will, will check here. All right, any modifiers? Minus 40. Mm, I'm going to do plus 10. I always get... This. Let's see if I have anything else. Um, is this fear? No. This is going to be possession. Oh. He's about to be possessed here. All right. So uh, I have a talent called Reason and Will. Basically, the max penalty is minus 20 for my will saves. Or will rolls. So it's going to be just a minus 20. Uh, and I can reroll it for free once. Um, however, it does not work. So I'm going to use this fate point to give myself a plus 10. And I succeed. There you go. It disappears in the ether. Good. Let's hope it's dead, not hiding. <laughs> Eric, please go. Sweet. I am going to take a uh, full round action to just hit him three times. Right. Okay. And I'm going to use my Psycho Reaper, which has a special ability to affect ethereal or incorporeal beings. Yep. Uh, psychic powers don't work here. By the way, psychic don't. Remember. Yes, yeah. so I'm not going to be able to use my fancy free action to empower it. But it still has the trait, so. Yep. Let's hear it. It's huge, so plus 20, plus 10 because I'm out numbering it, and then plus 10 for my hatred of aliens, and then another plus 10 because Masora said so. <laughs> they hit. We hate aliens here. Like hate monger. Hate aliens. Zealous like, hatred of all things inhuman. It's like the automatons. Alright. Oh, we gotta spread some liberty after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I hit three times. Hey. Hold up, and then minus 36. Also, a uh, pin of 10. He has no armor. Sweet. You're just hitting straight through. Oh, oh, oh. That was almost 10 degrees of success there. Which would have been uh, another. Yeah. But I still hit, so. A lot of damage. Does it? It does the serial things. It kind of roars as you're doing your thing. A mercenary guardsman, you're up. Or the elite guardsman, I should say. When we name this, this guardsman at this point. Yeah. So let's pull up that sheet. I do a full move of twelve meters. Well, that's four meters. I'll run. 12 meters that way. Yeah, you're Towards. 
the yeah. direction of all the uh, commotion. Unfortunately, you're not a space marine, so, yep. That's the base stats of a fuel mod. Yep. Rear low, go. Uh, is it my turn again already? Damn. Yep. Alright. Not many people. At least it's giving me time to focus on my sheet. The new character sheet. Let's see. Yep. Uh, I'm just looking through my talents real quick here. So, uh, Dan, what does Sure Strike do? It's in here as option to flip dice number on melee attack. Basically, Sure Strike means that whenever you attack, uh, you can make, uh, I don't remember if it's one or multiple attacks, but, f like, for example, the last attack uh, Replades did, d did uh, which was 9.9 .9 degrees of success, it was an 18. Uh, normally, if you want to hit something, uh, determine the location, it's, it's going to be 81. But you can flip it back to be 18 if you want it uh, to be 18. For example. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Got it, got it. And that's the, um, that's for the determining which body part you hit? Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. I could do some control where to hit. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and Try melee attacking again. So, what have we determined before that it was what plus forty to hit? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, you killed it. Yeah, sorry. That's why I was like, man, why is it an entity? It should be his turn. They had a six. I was like, so yeah. Not, so not honest. Your turn. Yeah, it's not your turn. I was like, wait a minute, I'm missing something here. Ah, okay. I was like, cause. Yeah, the other guy got deleted. Okay, so let me do his turn real quick. Uh, against y'all. And then, it, then it'd be your turn. Because, like, wait a minute. the They have not attacked. You know, this this giant ghost guy kind of looks like one of those enemies from Vampire Survivors. That's funny. The blue one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. blue ghosty one. Yeah. And then, who's in the room? Is it you and Yelmug? Okay, Mrs. This is you. Hits yellow right. character. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm gonna parry. Well, it's a it's a ranged weapon. Oh, I'm gonna dodge. All right. You. It doesn't have a sword anymore. You kind of destroyed the sword form. So all he can do is the holy flame. I succeed in dodging. Sweet. Now he it's your it turn. Over Sixteen times. Okay, now it's my turn. Uh, yep. So I'm going to... Oops, that was the wrong button. Ignore that. Oh, I was like, that. yay! <laughs> okay, 1.7. Now I'll do the damage. Oh, cool. Same result. Nice. It's an energy weapon, and... Yep. It snarls at you. Okay. But you don't see any visible damage. No visible damage. All right. Uh oh. All right. Uh, my turn. Um, I'm just gonna move. I think I got skipped. Oh. Did you? Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Moth got skipped. Yep. Oh, uh, Versara go. That stupid thing. Hold, let me fix this. Okay, Brasora go. Sorry. Well, let's see if Bolter rounds do anything. Oh, wait, no. I got really good range, don't I? Why does my shotgun have ninety meter range? Whatever, that's that's fine. That's that's fine. I'm I'm not sure you're supposed to have this. <laughs> it's because it's extreme. Oh, I see. Well, they also only gain like a bonus, like in the first fifteen meters. 
Yeah. But they can still hit things out to 90. Yeah. Uh, for shotguns, by the way, uh, when they hit stuff at extreme or long ranges, uh, the armor points are doubled for the damage they inflict. Because like the pellets are just carrying around, that's the justification. So we're not uh -huh. doing as much damage. Well, it's a good thing it has no armor. Indeed. Yeah. Minus nineteen, uh, minus nineteen, and minus. What was that? Minus thirteen. Twenty-four. Minus nine and minus thirty-three. It appears in your direction, Moss. <clears throat> You just see the glowing yellow eyes from it. All right, Karnoth, go. He runs up to here. All right. End of his turn. Heracles, go. Sweet. I'm going to swing, swing, swing. I gotta grab some coffee. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Hey, as you kill it, the first strike, go ahead and do a will save. Minus 40. Cool, cool. Let's see here. I imagine this is not a psychic power. Uh, um, yeah, a lot of stuff to it, resist psychic stuff. It, yes, it is technically. So it's weeks, then technically. I get some bonuses. Ooh. All right, and don't we as Space Marines get a bonus anyway? Uh, let me check. I uh, yes, like plus 10. Did. Yeah, it's just a 10 bonus. Well, bam. And you just see it fade away. All right, end of combat. Oh, Darn, gosh. I was hoping it possessed one of you. <laughs> not, not this time. I know, it's been, it been so sweet. Permanent possession and... You'd have yeah. to go and do my bidding. Permanent, damn. Yes. I actually have a small question to everyone right now because on the rules, in the rules, the max rank listed is rank 8. But yep. the increments are every 5,000 XP you get a new rank. So yep. do do we go beyond rank eight and gain like rank nine and ten, or do we stay at rank eight? So there's no rules in the books for anything yes. past rank eight, except yes. for of course uh, non-space marine characters. So we're technically just at rank eight, but we just keep spinning on our, our XP on whatever we want from all of the rank advancements. Yep. So our rank does not increase. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. His rank is more like your level as opposed to your actual rank. Rank, you know. No, like because Lord. there are abilities which scale with your rank. So. Uh, yeah, eight. Right. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay stick with eight for now. Yeah. So the ethereal beings are gone. If you guys remember, there's another room you guys fought so hard to get into past the trees. Oh, yes. Right. But not that those defenders are dead. Karnoff goes there. Back back to it. I am back. Oh, are the, are the tree branches still there? Are they still oh, active? Right, the tree. Uh, it's stuck into the wall, and that's all you see it as. You can go around them. All right. 
uh, go random. And yes. I go up to that. Beat. Stay here and continue to be rock brother. Good. All right. Um, I would like to inspect whatever I see. The the uh, flame. Yes. You see just a giant, giant uh, bowl framework that has seems to be being some pair, some sort of glowing rock that seems to be emitting. It's not quite fire. Is it warm to the touch presence or like? Uh, no. If, okay. With your one hand, you don't sense anything. Okay. You see a giant stairway, that altar that goes down to something. Oh no! <laughs> Not again! I go down. Oh, there's another brazier. Uh huh. I, see. I just circled around the uh, altar. There's nothing behind it aside from the two little cubbies. But there's nothing in it. I see. In that case, we we need everyone to get here. Time to abandon the rock. Yes. Very well then. Unless you want to take one with you. Uh, uh, I think I that might be dead. Don't. I, was gonna say, I think that's detrimental to our cause. We couldn't take a rock from the previous puzzles to add into this room, so... No, it's, it's if you want to retain your mantle as a rock brother, that is. Oh, I am unconcerned about my mantle as a rock brother. Okay, okay. Hey, Which way did you guys go? go? Left or right at the stairs? Left. Okay. And right then follow is short it right. Yeah, just follow the green line. If you see lava, you're dead. Yeah, so the the green room, and then just keep to the right. Yep. Follow the line. Okay. We're going to be waiting for you to do it, I guess. Hmm? You here? I'm here. Are you going to approach the group and uh, inform them what was going on? Because they're unaware of what what just transpired up there. Yep. Quick, down the stairs before we could be talked to by the idiot guardsman. <laughs> no. Oh no, which direction do they go to? Well, you'll have to figure that out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll... Split right up, right. gang! <laughs> oh boy. Oh my. Uh... Well, let me see where you're at. Hey, don't, you can't help him. He's going to figure it out because he could possibly die. It'd be great. He lands on the trap and the entire squad just gets vaporized. <laughs> <laughs> so you got decisions to make, bro. Where's my squad to? Part of my squad to? Left, see what's over there. Oh. Okay, that's apparently blocked. I can't move my characters there for some reason. Did you get him mm -hmm. stuck in a wall? No, oh, it's nope. the eye. It's the eye, right? The barriers are up in some places. So, do we even know that guardsmen are here? A uh, space no. marines? No. Not your, okay. Not your knowledge. All right. Got it. So you're just you're just examining the door entrance right now. The hall, the uh, it's a stairway, and there's a door at the end of the stairway. All right, Karnap approaches it first. Any of the stairs look out of place, like pressure pads, nope. or anything like that. <laughs> nope. Good. <laughs> nope. Making me roll, so that means there isn't any. Yep. So you see a very Xenos-looking door. With three locks on it, or locking mechanism, you, you can see visibly. Mm. What do they look like? They're free-handed. So you see X, three dots, circle, mm -hmm. bad circle, the line circle. through it. Yeah, the line. And then three dots. What is this? 
Is this something passable? You'll know oh, if you yeah, that, can't yeah. pass it or pass it. It wasn't, and then it was, and then it wasn't, and then it was, and then it wasn't. And then <laughs> it was. We fucked with the eye so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, is it is it is or is it not? You, you got it the first out. Well, I can't see where you are, so I don't know if it is or isn't, but... It looks the like missile a wall knows where it is, because the missile knows step. where it isn't. The only way you can find out if you take a step, brother. Hold up. We gotta see if they're smart enough to do this. <laughs> but just, just to give you a visualization of what you're seeing, your guy sees a rock mound. It is kind of steep, so it could be mistaken for a wall, per se. But it is a rock mound passage. Gotcha. So, you have, you have five of them. Not all of them probably failed. So you could do, you could do four more. You're, 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 oh you're, no! Oh no! <laughs> He's so barely. Oh, 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 one of them did. One of them figured it out. Are you yeah. sure that it's the guardsmen, or are they the idiot guardsmen? I think they're the idiot guardsmen. They only have an intelligence of twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So he tells the others that they're they're there. Ooh. So that's what you see in the door, the the locks. The locks. Uh, so this is uh, maybe a reminiscence of uh, the first series of locks. Mm -mm. Different symbols. Completely different symbols. Yeah. Completely different symbols. Goes back up and goes to inspect. Oh my God, guardsmen! He sees and signals to everyone that there are guardsmen here. What guardsmen? How are you guys? <laughs> I see How did guardsmen reach here? us? I say we hit the far right symbol, then the left symbol, then the middle symbol. Before you do that, let's inspect our surroundings once more. In case there's a obvious... Here's the combination, yeah. Blackard. I have a better idea. How about we uh, ask one of the guardsmen to do it for us? <laughs> First, though. Guardsmen, why are you here? We've been out of contact with you guys. We're trying to contact to you. About? It hasn't been that long. Hmm, like or what, has it? Or... Yeah, but what? <laughs> about... for, okay, so for you guys, they, they told you they, they'd be gone for maybe 30 minutes to an hour, possibly, to, to do this little quest. They've been gone for almost four hours. And the, the enemy oh, forces shit. Uh -oh. almost on top of you guys. That means the. Uh, about an yeah, hour out. Half an hour. Yeah. And, uh, Half an hour till the uh, the ship gets here to pick up. Yep. Yeah. Which is which in here is probably like five minutes. Allied destroyer has left orbit. <laughs> right. <laughs> While they're talking, Karnov would like to inspect the braziers more closely to see if they have any uh, markings on them. Hey. Uh. Awareness. Uh, nope. You see nothing of, of importance as you circle around it. You just see very glowing rocks. And, and the, on, on the other one, it's represents <clears throat> the same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay. What about the rest uh, of the right. room, like around this uh, circle-y thing that surrounds the staircase? Uh, you can go look. Awareness check? And, uh, Guardsmen, are you helping them in any way, or...? I think they just want to leave. <laughs> since they... Since they just don't want to be here for too long, they don't know what's going on. Right. <laughs> you don't see anything of value of importance. No symbols mm -hmm. or nothing. Alright, Guardsmen, well, since you're here... I'm gonna need some of you to go down there and touch some symbols. <laughs> Touch rocks. Probably need to do some fellowship checks there. I jetpack over to the cliff and hide on the other side. <laughs> you don't need a fellowship check. We're literally space marines. Well, I mean, they, he can take a fellowship check for sure. Uh, I was gonna say, they are guardsmen. Yeah. I did yeah. succeed. Okay. With my eh fellowship. 
Yeah, but don't <laughs> guardsmen have unwavering faith to the Emperor? Also, if anybody's Not within orders. sight of me, ah. they are completely fearless. Oh. Which is awesome. It's it hasn't. Little, it hasn't it's, it's weird that they're more inspired by the sister than they are the little demigods standing in front of them. Yeah, I can say I, they want to get that pussy, the man. The power of the emperor himself. You guys are just his puppets. I see how it is. Gotcha. Well, these guys are at your disposal. These, these two guardsmen. All right. What was the combination you said? Right, then left, and center. Yeah, I just have a punch. Left, right, and center. No, no, no. Right, left, center. Was it right, left, center, or left, right, center? This one. Right, right. left, this center. one. So, so right, left, this one. center. Yes. You, guardsman, go. Press buttons. It's down the stairs. Those are just ethereal images inside of our HUD. <laughs> What do I need to press again? Right oh. symbol. Then the left symbol. So, at right, the... Left. As soon as the first guardsman touches the right symbol, he incinerates. Okay. <laughs> Second okay, guardsman. So that start with wrong. the left one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll delete the first guardsman. Oh, I got the draw. You got draw. You're right. drawing him. You're just drawing right. his blood at this point. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Then the last right. one. Uh, he too incinerates. All right, third one. Uh... Touch the center. He reluctantly moves down the stairs. <laughs> center. Yes. He also incinerates. <laughs> well, well, <that> <laughs> Wait. Maybe they all need to be pressed at the same time. <laughs> However, we only have two guardsmen left. <laughs> this, is, this is quite a conundrum. Mm. Mm. So, did we uh, try all three of the them? guardsmen, if you think about it? Okay, we need to set up a Rube Goldberg device that can press all three buttons at the same time without us touching them. Too bad Neil Quick, Tyson is here. Spend the next here. three hours building it. It's going to be really complicated, and it's going to go all the way to the entrance. Wait, Mr. Rudd, you're real good with fire and can make it to where it doesn't hurt you. That's flames, not disintegration. Well, he said incineration. Yeah, those were flames. Those were flames. Yeah, flames but what if it's unholy me. fire and not the regular fire? The fire has to exist already. She made warp fire holy. Oh, wait, hold on. In one of our combats. Yes, but... Hold up. Yes, Basura. What are you thinking? Okay, so the creatures we were fighting were like fire spirit things, right? And I splashed them with water and they got real pissy about it. Mm hmm. Oh, you're saying we should, uh. Douse the fires out here. Douse the flames? Yes. Very well then. Douse the two fires, maybe. Kind of picks up a handful of water, one handful, <laughs> brings it back to the brazier, and throws it into the brazier. It's a dumb idea, I know. But it's all I got. Boko? Uh, he puts water in the brazier? Yes. And nothing happens. Can I, I roll for... Hurting. Can I roll for Zeno's lore to try and figure out this puzzle? Sure. Alright. Modifier? I'll assist you, brother. Minus 50? Plus the 10 for me assisting. Alright. It's so minus 40. Oh. Hmm. It appears that these might not be Xeno technology after all. No. Oh. I'll slap them on the back of the head. Yes, they are. Bonk. <laughs> Go to Xeno's jail, Bonk. Yep. Uh Anybody got any ideas? I'm fresh out of ideas. Well, other than pressing them all at the same time, not really. 
Let's find a really long stick to press the third button. We have the branches. <laughs> we have the branches. I can cut up the branches and like give it out you to have, people. You do have more guardsmen back at camp. All right, guardsmen, you two get down there with me. Okay, can I look around the staircase a bit closer? See if there's any oh. symbology <clears throat> anywhere on it. The guardsmen my, gar are... my guardsmen, one of the uh, the leader of it, says that you probably need more guardsmen. We're going to get more guys for you. <laughs> and one of them just runs off. <laughs> I'd like to, uh... Hang on, hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Scrutiny. That's a scrutiny check. Yep, go for it. Oh, yep, seems legit to me. Yep. <laughs> I do a scrutiny check. <laughs> go for it. Just a base roll? Yep. Well, yeah. Holy nice. shit. That's a five. You know lying. <laughs> Ericlades, are are you sure you don't need to get your eyes checked? What do you mean my eyes checked? He's clearly returning to go and grab more guardsmen to throw at the door. Very valiant, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's the smartest play. That way he's not the guardsman having to touch the door. He just sends all the guardsmen to the door to touch the door. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, you're it's right. It's obviously a brilliant play for a guardsman. You know, I might just himself. throw him... I might just recruit him into the space sharks whenever this is all done. <laughs> so, is your character is that uh, guy going to get space marine or more uh, guardsmen, or is he just gone, gun gun, dude? You know, I probably want to see if. Well, kind of want to run a chat die, some type of role for that. Willpower. Yep, willpower minus thirty. Yeah, he's just gone. Yeah, he's just gone. Bye bye. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we don't have that much of a time, though, so I still want to try and do the press all buttons at the same time thing. Allow me to assist you by using one of my hand stumps. Excellent. Other guardsmen come down here. There's only one left. Yep. All right, guardsmen, you're gonna press the left one at the same time that this brother presses the right one. On the count of three. One, two, three. Five. Shut up, Prisora. Guardsman gets deleted. <laughs> guardsman gets deleted. But your two symbols light up. Oh. Oh, it's only the people that activated the puzzle going to push the puzzle. Stars. Yeah, and he pushes the last one. Okay. And the drawer opens up. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a <laughs> test. <laughs> well, they didn't go through the trials. They just kind of showed up. So I guess this makes sense. <laughs> the guardsmen have not died in vain. They They died in service to the Emperor. So, oh, are you going to send any more guardsmen since that one came came down? Oh, what do you mean? They're all dead except for the one. We're assuming he's getting others. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the <laughs> guardsmen back at camp will see that one coward running. So. <laughs> yeah. That's the best thing can be made if the rest of the team is going to go in there. You listen, not our squad. <laughs> They're probably going to be like, what the heck is going on? Going to have to do a willpower check. Or something. Well, no, the they're they elite. One. Yeah, they're elite. Yeah, well, that's that's the one that ran. So it's a new group going to investigate. So. It would be funny if he tripped and fell in a trap on his way out of the cave. Their elite forces. <laughs> I was well seriously powered. thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. How are these elite forces if their willpower is only ten? You ask me. Yeah, so I'm asking you. How are the elite? <laughs> <laughs> they're elite guardsmen. I, I never said they're the best guardsmen. They're just the elite guardsmen that you guys have available to you. I think our definitions of elite are very different. Yes. <laughs> anyway, this door is open. Let's go through it. The elite guardsman was that guy we encountered on mission two who was a badass and helped us around all those orcs. Yeah. 
Did he get and killed? Then the, uh, and then the other one inside the uh, the corn planet. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah that's right. The only competent guardsman we've ever met. Oh, no. There was the, the pilot. Although I guess he was more navy than guardsman. Anyway, I don't know the difference, to be honest. Uh, well, the, the guardsmen usually get themselves killed by shootings. The uh, navy usually gets themselves uh -huh. blown up. I can already see where that one was going. <laughs> or, or the you navy usually what? intercepts the fire with their ships. That happens a lot too. Yeah. You know what? Some of them decide to go to the left this time. Oh boy. I mean, <laughs> none of things gonna happen. They're just gonna run into the invisible thing. Yeah, it's an invisible wall. Unfortunately, that room had nothing in it anyway, and it was a waste of time. Gotcha. All right, so we're going into this next area then. Is that it? Yeah. Let me get you. Let me get you. Once more to the breach. <laughs> okay, Heracles. Uh, let's see. So I have what seven here. Uh, who, who else is going? Everyone. All of us, I think. Okay. We walk down instant death, and we're and that's gonna kill No, me. you're not instant death. Oh, it. not instant. <laughs> oh. No. Oh my god. Arnoth and Rasor, right? Yep. Oh wait, what? What? Oh, I'm just Who's adding going you. down. Yeah, I'm adding you to the huh. next map. And then yeah. Guardsman. Um Yeah, we're gonna assume it's gonna be while well for you get to the actual Yeah. Boop. Boop. But I will add a guardsman down. <clears throat> oh hey, we're back outside. Nice ready, yeah. No, it's just a big, giant, cavernous cave as you come down. So, the very grassy. Looks you like someone uh, put a mantle of a Chaos God over their fireplace. <laughs> or whatever that is. A demon? No. You, no. you see, it, it seems to be a giant altar with some objects on the pillars of the, the nose and the horns. Looks like a giant space pool. Okay. okay. What do the objects look like? Uh, let me give you a description of them. You're fighting Chaos Space Force now? That's funny. Translation, let me uh, get a description of them from chat GPT. Well, I've already generated these objects. Well, yeah, I've already generated these objects before. <laughs> I suggest you all stand back <coughs> now. You're Are you gonna immediately grab something? I mean, just in case. Well, one of them looks like a heart like device in the center. In fact, let me get some let me get some crappy art for your... so. so you got a heart object. And then there's a staff on one side and some sort of a box object on the other side. A box? Yeah, it just looks like a box. Like a perfect, if it, think of the most perfect metallic box you can think of. That's what it looks like. It looks unnaturally perfect. A staff, a box, and a heart. Yeah, a giant, yeah, it looks like a giant heart type type thing. Crystals can all we, around it. Can we examine the altar? Yep. We examine the altar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it looks like just a alien Xenos altar with three objects on it. Vero, That's definitely you not. You are, you are certain this is a trap when you're all gonna fucking die. Absolutely, everyone's gonna fucking die if they touch this. Wait, brothers, Empressora, stop! Don't touch it. It's trapped. Everything is trapped. It's fact, rigged do a to kill save. us. Do a willpower save. Everything's okay. tried to kill us. Yeah. Me you willpower. You, yeah, you're feeling the urge to attack this thing. All right, Destroy what is it? Everyone else touches it. Minus forty. Oh, Jesus. 
We must destroy it immediately! Go ahead. No, uh, no, no, no. I would like to make a uh, agility check. Uh, because I have a talent called Rapid Reaction to act when in, in, uh, surprised. So, so you gonna try to stop Rilo here? Just to see if, if he's Rilo got... doesn't have any hands, what's he he's gonna, gonna do? Get power claws. He's got yeah, like power on his stumps. So if Karnov sees that he's about to strike the box, oh, the heart, uh, he's just gonna stop him. Attempt to stop him. Can I uh, fellowship check him to get him yep, to stand Yep, fellowship down? check. Alright, cool. And you're gonna fight against the do this much. Yeah, do a, uh, uh, opposing fellowship. Oh, Stand boy, down, oh Rook boy. Two. How many bonuses do I have to this? The Rook don't know if your actions will cause the trap to trigger or not. Yeah, so Tesseract, do a fellowship, and then everyone has to beat that. Oh boy, alright. Just oh, a no, flat so fellowship. A plus, of oh. plus 20. Plus 20? God yep. damn. You are right. certain this is the t deadly trap that needs to die. Oh, Everyone great. Is, awesome. You have, to, okay. you have to beat that. Fail. We must destroy the trap! Oh my god. Fail! Ah, uh, man. This isn't a psychic thing. No, this isn't a psychic thing. It's just a no. Thing. It's just him yeah, being... Just Friendly chat. Thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> In the name of the Emperor, you tell him to stop, basically. Hmm, okay. <laughs> but I'll oh, be Christ. watching this. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> right. no, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Stay your hand. The Emperor sees your cowardice. Coward, but I'm not picking a fight I can't lose. Well, maybe against the trap. You're not a coward, Rookertil. Sister chose poor words there, but don't be hasty with your actions. We don't know what this is. Dangerous, we know, yes. Obvious, as is everything else in this place. As I gesture to your hands and the other's arm. Uh so but maybe I, don't just go swinging or touching things haphazardly, yeah? But I don't even have hands to carry this idiot ball. You're the idiot ball. Okay, so is there <laughs> anything else in this room aside from the altar? You look around, you see cavern walls, grass, beautiful grass, and just the altar. Ah, the what? real treasure was the grass beneath our feet the entire time. <laughs> Are we gonna roll what, it up and smoke it? What do the what items is? on the altar look like? One's a, a heart, with... a heart, and a box. Yep. Say it again. A staff, a heart, and a box. I find it funny how the uh, the hearts in the middle and the boxes on the side get the picture of the boxes of the box. Yeah. It's not a box. Yep. I just grabbed three different. All right. Well, not three different items, but I grabbed items. Threw it in there. Uh, here, I'll make. The... Okay, so is the heart a heart shape or a human heart shape? Human like heart shape. Like a real heart or like a, a real fake heart. heart. Like an anatomical real... heart shape. An anatomical heart shape. Okay. That's the best way to describe it to your character to you understand. It looks like an so anatomical. The... So the round shape is the box, but the box is the heart. <laughs> we could just switch those. <laughs> ah! Yeah, let's just switch those. You are hilarious. Fine. Box. Art. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you OCD bastards. <laughs> it won't matter after this. I mean, once coming to balance. So either this is three rewards, one for per each person that pushed a button. Or we just choose one. Or that, yeah. Do we want a fancy staff? A box that looks unnaturally perfect, or a or real a human heart. heart. What if the real treasure is the friends we find along the way? Well, then we have to pick the heart, of course. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, if that's <laughs> the case, I'm burning this place to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Nuke it from orbit is the only way to be. As we should do after this, anyway. 
Yeah, probably. Well, we can start off with the box because the box seems to be the most mysterious one. It might contain something of value. Really? Is the heart beating? Or is it just like there? It just looks like a heart. It has crystals all around it. It's about the size of your head. Okay. That's much different. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking a bloody human heart just sitting Yeah, I was like, the yeah. No, 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 no. It's a very crystalline. All right. Uh, so, what what about the staff? What it does it? What does the staff look like? Um, it is a long, smooth shaft, complete with two balls. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, um, okay. Phrasing. Let's keep this clean. Okay. No, I was kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, I had to do Austin Austin Powers. Powers. Yeah. Yep. I had to do it, man. Sorry, Dan. Um, <laughs> I walked into that one. It's okay. I was not expecting that. You walked into a long shaft with two balls, that's a little bit gay. <laughs> uh no, it is a um it's about an eight foot long staff, so it's pretty pretty big. Um it looks like it has three barks all around it. Has at the top of it looks like some sort of metallic crystal structure. That's it a druid staff from D. &D. Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, it has a giant sphere at the top of that, and just floating, going in circles. Oh, fancy. So do we want the power of nature, do we want the power of crystals, or do we want the power to be unnaturally cubic? Unnaturally cubic. <laughs> unnatural cube. The Minecraft Carnot. box is the answer to that. Uh, well, Karnov walks up to the box and attempts to pick it up. You pick it up. All right. I pick it up, and I place it on the ground. Okay. And then I attempt to pick up the heart. Wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. What? Wait. Okay. Open the box first. Does <laughs> the box even be open? No, <laughs> it's not a box. No, it's a perfect metal cube. Oh, so it's not a box. Seamless. It is a box shape. Like Perhaps a, like it's a, still a I guess, cube. Okay. A cube. I guess I pick up the it's heart then. Perhaps Cute. it's one right. of those Zeno's puzzle boxes. Cube Perhaps. box, same difference. Okay. No, there's a big difference. There is. Boxes is can shape. be opened. Cubes are shapes. So, Mo, are you picking up the heart, thing. or am I yep. picking up the heart? I'm picking up the heart. Okay. Just so, in case it's a you only get one kind of thing. So a box is a <clears throat> openable cube. Is it a cube, a box, or a cubic yes. box? Not a cube. all. Not all boxes are cubes. Though. It's a 3D <laughs> rectangle. Okay, let's go. <laughs> all cubes are boxes, nope. but not it's all not boxes. Perfectly <laughs> symmetrical rectangle. <laughs> so it's a 2D shape. Got all right. No. Uh, Moth, you pick it up. Okay. Yep. Now in your hands, it's fairly heavy. Okay, I guess I'll go and pick up the staff then. Okay. And you now have the staff. You now have two staves. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, I pick up the box. We, we can figure out what these things do once we're gone. Oh yeah. How, by the way, how how big is the box? Huh? Uh, for your space brains, it fits in the palm of your hand. For moss characters, oh. about uh, twelve inches. There. Okay. All right, I pick up the box and I walk walk out of the cavern back to the surface. Man, who knew these Same. aliens used imperial metri metrics? That's just crazy. <laughs> I'm giving you it's a, a perfect one foot cube. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving you dimensions that you, as an American, can understand. So, anyways, uh, you said imperial metric. It's an imperial or metric? Yes, imperium's metric. <laughs> yes. The proper metric. <laughs> All right. And I just walk out of the cave following the path that I took. A guardsman. More guardsmen. Oh, there I am. They just see you coming out of the walls. <laughs> from uh, their perspective. Uh, he kind of just carries a box on top of his shoulder. He just like nods at them and just follows along. Just kind of ignores them. 
I walk up holding a giant crystal heart. <clears throat> I got a stick! <laughs> I walk yes, out holding nothing because I have no hands. Oh, it's a good thing that it's only three rewards then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be like fair, there are only supposed to be three people. Yeah. Anyway, and none go. of them was a person that used his staff, so that's curious. Hmm. And oh no! Giant Cthulhu tentacle monster! Whatever are we going to do? Bizarre, I think you should <sighs> fight it first. Uh, no. I say we go back to the eye thing and just turn it. Fuck these guys. You mean the See, guards? The traps. Yeah, we turn the traps back on. But do, then... these... <laughs> do they look like uh, the other aliens or just something else entirely? No, no, they look like the other aliens you're fighting before. Got it. I seem to be just marching in just now. Uh, dude, does your guardsman react to... Because there's a guardsman right there. Does he react to this? Does he hide or does he try to engage them? I think that's one that ran oh, that's the coward. That was the coward guardsman, so... Oh. Well, so he's, he's already dead. He he's already he's already dead. He's already long dead. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Are they feeding on this uh, buddy? No. Well, they're they're yeah. supposed to be robots. I don't know why. All they right, look yeah. like go that. back. Go back to the rocks. All of, go back well, to the rocks. That, yeah, this particular one looks like like that, but more silver metallic. I don't have a silver metallic version of that. Before like uh -huh. an entity of some sort. All right, everyone, stand in front of the statue, but. Behind the rocks, and then we're Where gonna move the eye. Yeah, yeah. Right about here, in this green area, over here-ish. Yeah. And then we rotate the statue. And then I go and pick up the rock and then move it over, to just kind of in front. You know, to where the eye was pointing forward. Yeah. That's weird. Is it on? I wonder if I'm on a different layer. What layer is that on? For some reason, I can't pick up that. Uh, Drawing, interesting. Huh. Is it on a lighting layer instead? Uh, nope, it's not. It says it's on the token layer. The uh, layer. Is it on the map layer? Hold up. Nope. I guess it's just the game's bugged out. I'll just draw a new, new, new eye. So eye is now pointing that direction. Hold up. I think the game busted on me. Yeah, you might want to just reload it then. There you go. Okay. Eyes pointing that direction. And you guys hear laser beams, or what sounds like laser beams going off, popping stuff off. Fantastic. Fantastic. What's going on? Some of the guardsmen just ask, "What the heck is going on?" Uh, Don't worry uh, about it. So you moving the eye back where it was, so you can see what you're doing, or get out. Well, if it vaporized the mall, then yes, we will move it back. Well, you you see what you see, so well, I can't see shit. Well, do we hear? We can and always still okay. hear. You heard move, laser. move it back to where it was, then we can always move it back again if somebody goes forward and checks. Very saying one of the guards should check. Alright. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I back down. I can move faster than the guardsman, so uh so we can, oh, yes. But you can also get trapped in one of those things. Not if the traps are Not, turned yeah, off. That's true, that's true. Yeah, yes. They all appear to be dead. Excellent, quickly, or move gone. forward. Let's get out of here. Excellent. And we step to the surface. Part of me wants to have one guard to stay behind and put the rock back. So people, <laughs> they can't get back in. Right. I mean, you can command them to do so. They don't know what's going on. And you had, I think, about six, seven guardsmen? I think... No, I saw nine. 
Nine? Okay, I'll, I'll put nine back down. Oop. I command one of the guardsmen to stay behind and then put the rock back like we just did after we all leave. So you get eight. He might make it out. <laughs> That'll be a very smart guardsman. <laughs> very lucky guardsman. Or very lucky. Did you guys have all your tokens? No. Nope. Uh, I mind. have a black no one else is here. Black screen for me. Same here. I don't have mine. Okay. Do we okay. run? Okay. Do I make some rolls to see if he can actually make it? You mean the tokens? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the agility tests were minus sixty. Oh there my go. god! Yeah, yeah. I don't think he can succeed. It's gonna yeah, be crazy. He's, he's gonna succeeding. need to roll crit ones the entire way back, or he's not making it out. Okay. <laughs> He's, he he didn't dead. make it. <laughs> it was a noble sacrifice, along with the others who totally sacrificed themselves willingly <laughs> and weren't harassed in any way. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> of course not. No, that would be heresy. Indeed. Or something. And if, so if they hadn't, we would have killed them on the spot. <laughs> For their heresy. Ah. Uh. Anyway, oh, is, there's a is, yeah. there's a Thunderhawk waiting for us to, to lift off our shuttle of some kind. Let's go, guys. Hopefully it's still here. To the okay. south. If not, hopefully the other ship's in low enough orbit that I can just portal this on, now that I'm capable of using psionics again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ah, it's empty. Also, now that we're out, do I feel any psychic oh, so presence whoa, 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 whoa. from the items? Oh god. No. Oh shit, fireball! Duck. Yeah, yeah, this is. Oh, hold on. Yep. Oh, it's on fire. Okay. Yeah, the base is on fire. All the. You see piles of guardsmen littering around here, the remaining of the squad. So I hope they're... your perfect cue was worth it. We lost our chance. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. Oh. No, we didn't. So your ship is in range, by the way. Sweet. I, I call right. them in, say, give me your coordinates so I can make a gate onto the ship. So the, right where they said they, they'd be. So Excellent. The, yep. I... Oh my god, I, I use a, a fate <laughs> reroll. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. 95. That would, that would have sucked. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, because I didn't say I was using it for strings, um, I have to roll on the table. Uh, because I rolled uh, a double. Uh-oh. By the way, everyone do awareness check. Clean the cards uh. Awareness or scrutinize? Awareness. Okay, it's right. just darkness around us. We're good. Okay. So you all see the giant silver alien mothership in the distance. And then you don't see the giant alien silver Except ship. Except the, the guardsmen. The guardsmen are just blind. Except one yeah, of them. They, Except one. They just go in the portal. You see it, but then uh, darkness shrouds us as I'm performing my magic, or uh, the psychic power. And then the gate opens mm. and we can get in. Only well, two guardsmen saw. We can't see the gate, the darkness. No. <laughs> Follow my voice. Voice. It's open. Step forward. Not that forward, though. Two <laughs> lovely eight guardsmen saw the alien ship. <laughs> All right, we're back on the ship. Yep. The fleet of uh, well, yeah, not the. Fleet. Foco, can you ping where we're at? Cause like I'm trying to oh, figure that yeah. out. Oh, we're oh, okay. That's the alien fleet. Yeah, that is alien fleet. No, this Where's is your our ship. Our ship's this, over this, here? this is your ships. Oh. Yeah. Was it? Yep. Okay. At the last one, open we only scene, had the one, but all right. No, no, no. The last open scene was the, with the 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 entire fleet of sixteen vessels. Oh yeah. That remains in the system. But now it's just the Dawn Wraith. Wrath. Wrath. Dawn Wrath. I bring the box to wherever our quote unquote R and D is. Go to the, was the Inquisitor on this ship? 
the Inquisitor is with the main fleet. You can take it to him if you wish. Uh, before that, I want to give it a good look over. The mall a good look over. Now that we're out of the psychic dampening area. I attuned to the crystal heart. Ah. And uh, I would like to sign a science then. Which one are you going to start with? Uh, I'm going to go with the cube. Okay. Uh, the do, I get cube. Any, do I get any modifiers for it? Minus 60. Oh my god. Oh my. What'd you get? A negative 7.6. You're unsure what it is. To be fair, you did roll a 92, but oof. Well, I was looking for a 16, so. Yeah. Okay, right. what are you doing next? Uh, I'll do the heart. I right. guess also negative 60. Yep. Oh, that's better. And the stick. Okay, minus 60. We must worship the stick. It's getting better and better. So the stick you're picking up something with, but not you're it's very faint to you. I'll do one more with a fate reroll. A roll for it? No, no, just the stick. Gotcha. All right, no. You have no clue <laughs> what it is. Mm. It's alien to you. Mm. You know it's doing something. But it's like very, very interesting, powerful artifacts. You get that much from it. Well, hopefully the Inquisitor can make some heads or tails of this. I currently can't. Anyone else gonna look at it? Oh, I don't think sure. the Garzma is one to go close to those stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what I could use to observe it much. Uh, can I my inspect it using a tech use? Go for it. Minus 80. Uh, I cannot succeed that. Yeah. But I'll roll it anyway. Oh my god. Yeah, I have no clue what it is. Alright. Uh, what if we roll just uh, for knowledge, Xeno knowledge? Okay. Uh, Minus 50. Minus 50 and Xeno knowledge, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure you're checking your guys' databases and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh. I can't succeed that either, but all right. You don't know. Anyone else can? Can anyone else get that? I can try. Well, what minus fifty? Maybe. I mean, I would need a seven. A seven, but sure, why not? Oh, <laughs> so close. Want to give a Garzman a try. <laughs> oh, is it minus fifty for lore? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. God, I came so close there. Ah. No, I'm. Three points away from being. Now, which one are you inspecting, Bilo? Were you doing all? Which one are you doing? The same one that everyone was, right? Which, uh, which was what? There's a staff, a heart, and a cube. Oh, the stick. the stick. I would have inspected the cube myself first. I would have gone for the heart. And cube. I the stick. And cube and my ox. Yeah, Tetherak, what are you going for? Cube. Or the box. Go ahead, you can do a fate reroll if you want to. I'll give you a fate point to reroll that. I got my own fate point. I have five. I'm using mine first. Okay. Alright. Uh, what is Enough, it? Mine is 40. 40 now? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> this By the way, there's just... the name of the object. What? What about the name? This will give. If you pass, it will give you the name of the object itself. Ah, but not anything else about it. No. Okay. So you know what you're rolling for. I want you to. Like. All right. I'm not gonna spend any more fate points. I'll give you one more to reroll. Eh, uh, I think it. There is no point. Just keep the fake voice yeah. just, just just in case. Yeah. It might help stuff later though. Yep.
I mean, at, at that point, Heraclitus is the better fit because he has a higher role for sunny science than we do have for lore. Yeah. Science science will give you different information. Oh. But lore. that name's not really going to give us much. Right. Lore's just going to give you the name of what it is. Right. So we'll just store it until we uh, approach the Inquisitor's ship. Or yep. Inquisitor's base. Also, what are the two of you doing looking at shit? Get yourselves to the med bay. Oh, right. And I go to the med bay. <laughs> yeah, your arm's missing. Good. You too, Rukatil. <laughs> and all the guardsmen is just in the quarter corner. <laughs> yeah. Um. By the way, dude, there is a there is a Space Marine squad in the system under the, under the watch under the command of the Inquis Inquisition. So when you make your Space Marine, you can introduce them to that squad. They I are, so. I think, they're the Reavers. Let me go look at who they are. Yeah, if I remember what I wanted to build is the uh, the Terminator, or something higher than the uh, Devastator. Uh, so I think anyone can become a Terminator. You just have to have like the honors and then take the talent to get the thing. Uh, yes, yeah, no, you it's, it's not a have... it's not a particular class. It's just there uh, was a class that was the higher up version of the uh, Devastator, wasn't there? No. Yeah, no. So to be a Terminator, you need to be a certain rank, and you need to have the honors. Uh, but otherwise, there's no. Like, uh, like, oh my god, no tactical or no librarian list yeah. for skills specific to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Do keep in mind, Terminator armor makes you very slow. Yeah. Also, our regular armor is just better than Terminator armor. Yeah, at the moment. Yeah. Our modified armor is armor. Yeah, well, once we modify the Terminator armor and give him a jetpack, problem fixed. Uh, I don't think Terminator armor can have a jetpack. You can, they you can take a teleporter pack. They can. But not a jetpack. Probably just build yeah. him a jetpack. <laughs> it's just, it's just going to be like the size of a Terminator itself, just to lift it I, off. I have two melt the shotguns stapled together. I, there's no reason we can't just give him a jetpack. That's tech heresy, but sure. <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, by the way, in the med bay, if it is possible, I would like to get a bionic arm. It's like a bio replacement, not the mechanical replacement, but that kind of takes time uh, to regrow. So that depends on how long we travel and how long we can be out of combat for. Ooh, wrong one. What did it do? Oh my! I think the roll twenty is messed up. Well, Don't you miss. did refresh, so. Okay. Here. You can do uh, what is it? Control Shift R to clear your cache. That might help. There you go. That's that's more like it. not a demon prince. Uh oh. We just have the demon prince on the ship. <laughs> so, uh, we have uh, communications coming in uh, through the equation. Uh, hey, hello, demon prince. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. I'm just a uh, captain of the ship. <laughs> You've already dealt with one of those. <laughs> I'll be right back. Careful not to shoot yourself in the face. You hear blasts from the captain's quarters. Problem fall. Let me get the Inquisitor. Ah, uh, he kind of asked on uh, your situation report, so he comes up. It's like, so what's the situation?
Uh, we recovered three strange alien objects from some kind of structure on the surface. Describe them to me. A large crystalline heart the size of a human head. A perfectly cubic cube of metal. No openings, no things on its surface. About a foot on all sides. And a uh, wooden staff with a uh, circling metallic orb. I'll be sending my fleet over. But we'll recover the artifact from you shortly. Please. Oh, His Mike died. <laughs> well, the Inquisitor's <laughs> dead. Problem. Sorry, is my, my, head, my headset's popped up. Sorry. Uh, it says, <laughs> please, please secure the artifacts. Let no one touch them. Even us. And he says, inclu including Space Marines. Well, two Space Marines carried the artifacts out, so I hope that's not a bad thing. No, no, that's not a problem. Just they're Your not learning from touching them more. Yeah, they're not learning of its uh, origins. Bring them to me. Should the yeah, artifact exactly. should the artifact try to uh, corrupt something again? Like the guardsmen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. All right. Well, I'm that's a no. So the message to everybody. Yep. Though. Are you gonna question them at all, Moth? Are you gonna do fellowship check with them, or are you gonna dive deep into this? Or are you just gonna accept orders? Sure, I'm an inquisitor. Why not? I'll ask. What are these things? You have any idea? Fellowship <sighs> minus twenty. Straight roll. Mm. He says, uh, yeah, they're... we have a couple artifacts similar to these, the old one technology. Um, cannot fall in the Space Marines' hands, for we fear they'll corrupt your Space Marines as it did the others. Because they're extremely powerful. So they must be controlled at all costs. Understood. Yeah, they're very technological. And so uh, I trust that you will handle matters if it comes to that. Yep. Okay. We well, should be there within the hour. All right. I have all the artifacts gathered in a room, sealed the room from all sides, et cetera, et cetera. Full quarantine. Yeah. Not even space marines are allowed to go in, etc. Okay. Are do you does any of you guys space marines question what's going on? Carnot does not. I mean this is just standard inquisitor bullshit, but alright. <laughs> um Barely these artifacts corrupted space marines in the past, including ones in this system. So You're telling them that? Yep. Okay. No touchy, the strange objects. Going up nods. Well, for all that we Hell, space for all sacrifice, I hope it was worth it. And that it's for all we properly. know, the target we were sent to fight here a hundred years ago found one of these things. I'd imagine that's what why he went so crazed. Not Six. these ones specifically, obviously, but Jeez. I just saw the cost of our uh, Terminator armor. Requisition yeah. points. I reps. just saw that. But that includes weapons. Yeah. yeah. 60 just for the armor. Jeez. Yep. 40 for the armaments. Mm hmm. So that basically means you can choose whatever armaments you want to put on it, though. The laser cannon. Yeah. Um, I have a talent which gives us plus 20 requisition extra. So. You can have, or was it plus 15? I don't remember. But we can have a bit of requisition. Yeah, and all I saw in the requirements for it was you just needed to be feigned, and then that was it. Oh, okay. So. Find feigned, and then use one of those, uh, not skills, talents to pretty much make it my own armor permanently. Armor and weapons. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, dear. 
Uh, we'll be ending here shortly, about 20 minutes. So we're just doing a little more session -y stuff. All right. Um, what are you guys doing in the meantime as this uh, the battle group comes to you guys? Um, uh, probably researching uh, other points that we could, I don't know, attack or something. We failed our first prerogative. I'm I'm getting my uh, hands replaced with uh, robotics. It'll take you um, about a, about a week, but they can do it. I'm yeah. if it's possible, I would like to replace my lost arm with a bionic one, as in like a bio, like an actual arm. An organic uh, arm. Yeah, organic, take about a week, but arm. but they can do it. Would you All guys right. like? Neil Tyson to uh, advise the Mechanicus on the best course of action for that. Isn't he a Dreadnought? Well, yes. He's but he has board, tech use. Gotcha. Yeah, he is on board. Come hither, brothers. Allow me to take a look. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, that is the wrong thing. I meant to do this. Uh, I meant to do this. Hang on. Were you sad that your that. roll of 19 didn't get higher? No. <laughs> In fact, it almost came out to the same thing. So there, you're able to make the... Any modifications you want to your arms in that week? I've advised the Mechanicus on the best course of action for replacing your limbs. I'll say replaced my battered body. Your badger body? No, I don't think your body looks that bad. You would be surprised what a Chaos Bolter can do to a Space Marine, brother. Not really, I saw it firsthand. But mm. it definitely looked nothing like a badger. Hmm, these cybernetics must be getting to my brain. Nope, you seem like you've always been. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, brother. <laughs> That's certainly one way to take it. <laughs> oh boy, what are those? What are those? It's the alien ships. Yeah, they're, they're not. They're not, different not, ships. Well, they're not the alien ships. You can see that much. Um, so. That's all he knows. He's able to, to ascertain that they are Space Marine cruisers. Huh. Oh, they could be Space Sharks. Huh? <laughs> well, Space Sharks operate. They could be Space Sharks. So, and they are... Oftentimes, chapters don't recognize us because of how, off how unoften we communicate with the rest of the Imperium. Right. So then you see what appears to be Drake on the side of it. Big Drakes on the sides of the ships. Oh, that's not good. Those are definitely the Chaos Space Marines. Uh, the Renegades. Mm -hmm. The Evan Drakes. Where are we currently? You're currently above the planet that you just evac'd from. Oh, okay. Um, 
And you guys are... So these cruisers just popped in. So if we went down to that planet and we disabled all the traps and the... We did the altar and complete all the puzzles. Is that going to drop the shields on the other planets that we needed to go to? Oh, that no. had absolutely nothing to do with any oh. the other aliens. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. This yeah. was a side quest among the side quests. Got it. I yeah. missed a memo then. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a, huh, there's something interesting happening here. We don't know this, what it is. Let's this investigate was, it. Had nothing this to do was like a, an old one puzzle room that yep. gave us a bunch of tech stuff for beating it. And next session, I'll glean what what you what your reward is. So, I'm hoping the heart can be used to upgrade the laser cannon on my ship, so that we can actually deal some fucking damage to these goddamn aliens we're fighting. No, Long it's twice. actually used to allow you to feel emotions. <laughs> I, uh, ah, I fuck who needs that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna well, that... get to you next session. I could, I could, I could, I could just tell you what they are. Well, you see. God, like... You see, the uh, the crystals around the heart are calcified uh, because it's a heart of stone, so it would actually make us less emotional. Ah, uh, true. Okay, true. here's yeah. the problem with that. I already have that perk. I uh, already I'll... am stone skinned and stone hearted. <laughs> I will. Mm. You, you will know this out so of you're game. A I, you, yeah, I'll tell you what the heart Not is. Not literally. So you can understand. So this is what you'll glean in next session. All right. Let's see. So Moth will, or Yelmug will definitely love this device. Oh, I thought he would have loved the staff. That's a shame. Uh, oh, I might enjoy both of them. Why not both? Two psychic things with one All psyker? Right. That's that's some favoritism well, right there. I, it's I'm an gonna, old one chamber. What did you expect? I'm going to read this out loud. With uh, psychic for, dampeners. For the recording. Psionic amplification chambers. <clears throat> Inspired by the psychic energies emanating from the heart of the void, the tech priests have constructed psionic amplification chambers designed to enhance the abilities of the Inquisition psychers and sorcerers. These chambers harness and focus psychic energies, amplifying the strength and range of psychic powers, enabling the psychers to unleash devastating attacks against enemy forces. Yep. Uh, nice. I just uh, read a uh, heretical word in there, sorcerers. Ooh, yeah. It's, uh... We're gonna, to, we're gonna have to purge an Inquisitor here soon. Yep. That's what Unless the application it, device chamber does. Unless it's a radical source, uh, Inquisitor, then, you know. Oof. Um, no, if we man. purge an Inquisitor, Rooketeel's going to want to be the one to do that. I'm just you gonna throw just, that out there. Do you want me to tell what the other devices are as well? Yeah. Sure. I mean, if we're gonna know next session anyway. Yeah. It's not really going to affect any better decisions, right? No, now, it's, so. Inquis the Inquisitor's going <coughs> to. Inquisitor's going to. Oh, that's why I did not copy the T. So it's a temporal. temporal yeah, I figured that. <laughs> Unless it's an emporal, like it's of the Emperor. Uh, <laughs> temporal disruption field generators, inspired by the temporal manipulation ability to the scepter of Chronal Mastery. The tech priests have developed temporal disruption field generators capable of creating localized time distortions on the battlefield. These generators emit a field that slows down or accelerates time within a designated area, disrupting enemy movements and providing a tactical advantage to friendly forces. Nice. Yep, and then the cube. Nanite <laughs> nullification device. Thank leveraging... You. Leveraging insights from the Codex of Cosmic Knowledge, the tech priests have devised nanite nullification devices des uh, designed to neutralize the Xeno's nanite technology. These devices emit a targeted energy pulse that disrupts the nanite's cohesion and renders them inert, effectively stripping away the alien's immunity to conventional weapons fire and melee attacks. Cool. Oh, the finally. Cube. Excellent. <laughs> the cube was the best one. Yeah. Told you, you the right. kid was the best one. Yes. Hashtag I told you so. About what? No, nah, I'm oh, just plot making a joke. Little pot armor? Yeah. <laughs> God, I hate that. <laughs> uh, no, they had plot armor. Now we have plot weapons. They That's had okay. plot immunity for a while there. Alright, the unknown threat. Obviously, you need an answer to the, the, the puzzle there, so. Right. But now we've found the plot MacGuffin. <laughs> and some other MacGuffins. 
to MacGuffin the shit out of these MacGuffins. Yep. yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what was in that cave the whole time. You guys yeah. could literally have done the other stuff and fought a hard-fought battle. And then I was like, if they chose the cave, there's some really nice toys in there. Very nice. Glad curiosity got the best of us. Uh, yeah. I, you gotta I learn didn't say that out loud to the others for me that for them to hear me because you know that would be heretical. Right, but your character has no insight of any of this going. Oh, this this information. This is just for you as players. So. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but right now, ooh, stay out of line of sight from those things. Maybe watch them. See what they do. Yes, I will stand vigil, brothers. Okay, so the ship. It moves. I meant the ships. Oh, the vigil. So, okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to do roll one d one hundred as you get closer. Oh, I didn't get that going, much closer, did I? Where are we going closer? Hey, if you're gonna go closer, roll. roll no, I was just getting roll. behind him. Okay, just stay stay at distance with cloak. Okay. Okay, you see them firing drop pods from their ships onto the ground. Interesting. You wouldn't fire drop pods unless you were assaulting a place. Mm -hmm. If these units were allied to these aliens, they wouldn't be assaulting them. If I remember correctly, I believe that it was a portion of these Evan Drakes that went renegade. These might be the remaining loyalists. Maybe, or maybe they well, don't know that. Well, the Inquisitor. No, the, you guys saw the. You guys saw the loyalists. They're with the Inquisition fleet. These are not the ships you saw. Oh, okay. Yeah. But well, it's really weird that they're assaulting this place. Yep. Well, it is a it is a spot on the planet they're assaulting. Is it uh, the mountain? Um. You try and glean the information where they're going? Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to see where they fired them at. I'll tell you right now. Or did you GM roll it? Okay. Um, your captain tells you it looks like they're firing at some unknown location about 50 clicks west of where you guys were from. It seems that that mothership of theirs found something. Interesting. Mm. Mm. But for what you're able to discern with your sensors, it looks like they're, in all intents and purposes, helping the aliens. Yeah. Fact, the There's ship a question on what they're assaulting. If it wasn't our previous location... Uh, there might be more of those old one ruins down there. Who knows what they'll find? Too bad we don't currently have the technology to take them on just yet. <laughs> well, as far as we know, the Space Marine ships here don't have uh, upgraded power. No, no, no. Like, we, from our sensors, it, it, we can tell that they're assisting the aliens. Not assaulting the aliens, like yep. I originally yeah. thought. As far as you can tell, they're well, and I mean, actors. true. We could probably take out the space marines, but the fact that they're also with the aliens, it's the aliens we have a problem with. Yep, and uh, these cruisers look modified as well. Oh, they're like a little more advanced than your standard space marine cruiser. They look a little more advanced than your standard Space Marine cruiser. Oh, I was just thinking that, Rookatil. <laughs> oh, a battle bar just worked in. Get us out of here. Yep. That's what you see. And it, um, it is the one you're looking for for that, the leader of this space. 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 Sorry. Space. Space, space Marines. <laughs> Space Cage Marines. No, the 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 
Renegade Space Marines you guys are contending with. You definitely know that. So that's the rogue ship, then, or the rogue trader's ship. Basically, yeah. Looks like a very advanced uh, Imperial cruiser of some sort used for rogue trading, as you as you would say. So. He had it. Indeed. So, what are you guys going to do at this, at this point? <laughs> Probably pack it in and uh, wait for the next session. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, also, we don't have as grand of an opportunity as it is. We don't, we're not in a good position to just start assaulting with two of our guys armless and handless. <laughs> Didn't we spend a week fixing no, that? No, this, this is what's happening right now. As, oh. we, as we vacated, this is what immediately happened after. So we popped on board, maybe took a little bit of a look at the stuff. I told you to go to the med base, and then these ships warped in. Yep, about 10, 15 minutes after you guys got on board. Yeah, Neil Tyson is uh, itching to use his new Volkite Culverin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I figured you guys would like the Nanite nullification devices. Yep. Yep. Now we gotta fight the replicators. Yay! They are. It, it's gonna be just so you know what they are. It's gonna be in grenade form, so you have Aww. a limited usage of this. Oh. Yep. At least we have something. Yep. Uh, how, how much XP do we get? Uh, a thousand. All right. Ah, oh, darn! I was hoping for a permanent possession. That would have been kind of fun. <laughs> Ooh. Not this time. Yeah, that would have been. Could have done really, it really... to the uh, guardsmen. <laughs> well, I mean, there are the ghosts were already there. Yeah. Oh, you guys yeah. did what you're supposed to do. So one of two things was going to happen: you defeat the ghost, you gather their energy to then open the doors, or they possessed you and you became the new guardians. Ooh. Oh, that would have been bad news. Well, for the rest of the team, yeah, it would have killed everyone. Then you'd have to, then you'd have to do engage that fight again. You'd have to fight their character as they are. Then that ghost would appear, fight the ghost again. Oh my god! Do you see how that could have party wiped you? You were really gonna do that to us. Yes. I have this nifty anti-possession thing I can put on people. Uh, I mean, could you have taken on uh, Eric Ladies or any of those Space Marines if they got possessed? Yes. He's got melted guns, yeah. <laughs> I built my character to kill them. Oh, Just great. Case. Why did you think I went Melta instead of literally anything else? Well, Karnov has anti melta armor, I believe. He does so do now. I. He I didn't wait back. I also did, I take damage, but my armor doesn't get uh, removed. Melted, removed. yeah. yeah. Which is the the main awesomeness of the Melta weapons? Yeah. That was that session. A little more uh, fast pace. Yeah. 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 I wasn't gonna be like, and it's another dungeon. It was just gonna be like, oh, and God. it's. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you guys were thinking that, right? Yep. No, it yeah. was like chamber room. I almost thought that altar was just gonna be a doorway to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I, I thought about conquered four one of. 104 Dungeon 5. <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought about it. I was like, man, they they literally nearly died to get here. So I was like, it's just going to be in a chamber room. Yeah. With the awesome stuff. You paid with limbs to get these devices. Three limbs, three devices. That reminds yeah, me of good. a certain side quest we did in Dark Heresy to get a uh, Primark knife. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've had one. Yeah. You talk about that one a lot. I think that's the only side quest we did there. Look, yeah. it's my favorite thing that I've ever done in the D&D &D campaign, alright? <laughs> and it only happened because my character <laughs> wanted to go to a fucking dive bar <laughs> and talk to someone about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I rolled a six, which out of a hundred is, is uh, a good roll in uh, yeah. Dark Heresy. God, that was great. So I hope those rewards are worth what you guys went through. 
You say that as if you don't know yourself. No, no, no. It's not what I think. I think they're fair. But as a player, you may view it as a different value proposition. Ah. It's because what I think is fair and what you think is fair are two different things. Well, I think it's plenty fair considering that the alternative is that we all died. Yeah. And we didn't die. Yeah. So that's part yeah. of the reward. Fair. Although I would like to know the mechanical, like, things of it. The net yep. one's obvious, but the other two are subjective. So the amplification chamber, um, yeah, we can go into the detail next week. But I have the, the information on the back end for that. Same with the temporal field. Cool. I'm assuming those are also going to be grenades. No. The chamber is actually a chamber that Yale Mug No, I, I meant the temporal manipulation for the battlefield. It's going to be oh. staffs. Ah. It's going to be inspired by the other staff, and they'll be basically staffs. You guys can... Fuck that. Utilize. Let's put a spearhead on one and make him javelins. <laughs> one side. We just <laughs> throw them. Sounds good. But, yeah, the, that one will literally speed and slow, slow on time as you see fit. So you can literally age something until it turns to dust. Oh my god. Oh no. Yep. Okay, Agent. we whipped all the guardsmen with them and we have them run in one by one. They, you, they'll have enough to make one for you guys. <clears throat> they'll, and they'll glean that from the staff itself. And it won't be as powerful as the, the staff itself. Which was probably the thing giving the local time distortion field to the area, right? You'll find out. Which means it's on our ship and it's currently distorting time on the ship. Hooray. We'll find out. Yep. I mean, we should. It should be pretty obvious. Are the uh, are I the mean, space brain battleships we... moving at rapid speeds that they shouldn't be moving at? No. Anyways, your characters oh, wouldn't, wouldn't know any of that stuff. But yeah, the nanite one, very straightforward. Literally, you'll have grenades to toss at the enemy to then nullify their shielding and F them up. They still have armor, though, you have to get through. But all their I nanite... Yeah, their nanite bullshit will go away. It's their How about the energy through. shields? We can't get through those at all yet? They're, no, it's impossible. Quite literally, that's what they that's all they're designed to do. Prevent any damage to be dealt to them. So you could literally fire orbital space cans at these things and it wouldn't phase them. Well, one half of the plot armor removed. Now we just need to remove the other half. Which is what? Shutting down their shields. That, yeah, that's their, the base, their base shields. Oh, the base shields. Oh, you're talking about that. Yeah, that, yeah, the grenades won't do anything to that. Well, from what I remember right, you said if we take down the shield generator at the base, it will take down all the shields of every yep. individual little thing running around, too. That, yep. Then the, so, then, yeah. then it, it effectively does the same thing as the nullification device without you having to use grenades. But well, it's nice to have the grenades for when we go and assault that place. So we can take out the defenders with the grenades and then take out the ge uh, generator for everybody else. Yep. And that's and your character would have the information of the generators need to be destroyed because the Inquisitor yeah. told you about that stuff. Yep. So. That was uh, that was what one of the choices was: take out those things or go for the side quest mountain. And we went for the side quest mountain. Yep. All right. All right. Head out. All right. Nice all right. with you all. I'll see you all next right. week. And see you next week. Looking forward to the next see session. You. See you all next week. Okay. See, see you next week. week.